sprayed it black, a bit of um, two-part epoxy resin wood filler and a spray of, I mean in this case I think it's engine black, but it was what I had at hand. Uh, yeah, so since then I put a bit of masking tape around here and I've marked every inch in fact so that I, can, I know where to put the tacks in. Found some tacks, some quite nice tacks. I should have enough, but if I remember, I'm going to stick some, some glue around the rim here, so I'm not just relying on the tacks. So yeah, this is all ready to go. All I need to do is find my tack hammer. What else? Um, oh yeah. yeah. So <laughs> I've been trying to tea stain the animal skin I had. I've used about six spoonfuls of coffee and at least eight tea bags. Um, and it's been soaking for, it's got to be an hour now. I mean, they say to soak these things for well, about half an hour, really. You think that's stained enough? It's definitely better than it was. And I'm not convinced it's going to get much, uh, much darker now. I mean, an hour. If I soak, if I soak this shirt, in this solution, there's still a tea bag for it again. I mean, it'd never be white again, would it? So, it's enough, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, and I'm gonna try and stretch it real tight. The more textured side is the outside. It was more obvious when it was dry. <laughs> but this is a shiny side, it's got a slightly more plasticky feel to it, and this side's more textured. So I'm gonna go with that. So all I need to decide now, where's the front? That's the nose there, let me do it. Nose towards you then. What I need to do now is decide which way around. I like that. What you're meant to do is have the thicker bit towards the bridge, where the bridge is gonna be. That is a thicker bit there, that's a bit thinner. I'm gonna go around that way. Uh, I should have really thought about this beforehand and marked it out. Well, what do we think? Oh, that's as good as any. Right, so, I'm gonna get started. I've got my tack hammer. Dinky little thing. So I think, I can just do it on the table like this. That looks roughly there. Get a start on that. Ooh. I need to start on that. Oh, this is fiddly. It is fiddly. Right, I'm going to push this one home a bit more by hand. There we go. Get a bite. That's it. Get a bite going. Straighten that up a bit. Ooh, about now that one way home. And you should sort of go opposite. So, if I were to get one in over here somewhere. Oh, you put it real tight. Ugh. Real tight. Let's get one in about there. Oh, well, that's a start. That's a start. So the next obvious thing is to go side to side. Yeah, let's try that bit first. Oh, that felt quite good. 
And I'm like, no, that, that little Troy. Uh -uh. Circumstance. I oh, get one in over here, I think. Uh, it's something not to do it too tight, but I think it really does depend on the thickness of your skin. Let's come back for that one too. Yeah, so if you get one going badly, it's best to leave it, I think, and get one in next to it, say, and then and then replace it. I found that's the best method. Having the round heads really isn't making life much easier. Marvellous. Definitely want one there. Getting someone out though. You do have to be patient with it, you really do. Do it that way around. Do another pull on that. Probably shouldn't do this on the kitchen table. Unless the missus is out. I wouldn't risk it myself otherwise. <laughs> really I'm finding this a bit annoying. Hang on a minute. American S wing claw hammer. Really is none better. You want them to go in fairly straight, fairly level, otherwise the edge of the dome of the nail could cut through the skin. I don't know if you can see, it's quite sharp. They're not solid, they're not flat the tops, they're, they're domed. And so the edge of that is sharp enough that it could, if you came at a too obtuse an angle, it could do more harm than good. All right, there's another one, that's a fair one. Sometimes. I'm not going to use that one again. Anyway, I think I can get a tight on. I'll turn. Whoa! There we go, this again. Oh, I've got another solution for this. I don't remember having these problems. I used these same tacks on the uh, on the long neck banjo I made. Mm. You started with the tack hammer. That's the method. Come back for that one. I don't know why this is giving me such problems. I don't remember it being this difficult. I really don't. Maybe if I did this again, what I might do is just drill some tiny little holes, just to sort of start them off. Hmm. 
I do remember it not being that neat last time around. <laughs> when I think about it. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's get out of All the way on. Okay, I'm getting somewhere now. It is fitting. So it can get that way. It's a bit high, isn't it? No, it's coming out of that one. Mm. That's with a nice new one. That do. Yeah, that's good enough now. It's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be neat. But yeah, maybe that would be the answer, you know, to have drilled a little pilot hole. Just a tiny little one, not, not very deep, but just to get it started off. It would have made it life a little bit easier for me. Clearly. Oh, anyway, I think you got the gist of this. And the difficulties that I'm having with it. Um, so they're going to be a little bit up and down, right? <laughs> but that's a, that's a rustic thing, isn't it? Rustic. Okay. Well, just quickly. I was finding there's a real struggle. I'm getting there now, but I forgot to glue it, didn't I? I forgot to. I forgot to glue it. I'll quickly try and do it now. So what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and get a bit up here. Wherever I sit the can. Glue in there, that's it. Better now. <laughs> Better late than never. Get some glue in there, that's it. Stuff it right in. Let's be generous. Click the excess. Right in there. the excess later. It's in my interest to try and be a bit generous. I should have done this before. I'm rushing this, I know that. I suppose it's because I don't have that long to do it. I'm trying to get this ready for the performance. I might just go with the hairy one anyway. Uh, yeah, that. Where have I been? Where have I been? There, getting there. Definitely getting there. Oh, hey. Well, I think I've been everywhere now. Don't want to on the front. Oh, I quite like that colour. It's growing on me. Now it's on. Still glue on my fingers. Okay, right, let's quickly get the rest of this nailed and, um, and then we can put it aside to dry. So... Ah!